So, what's up, bitches? Y'all been harassing me. Y'all been in my DMs. Where's the next vlog? When are we getting a vlog? New video? New video? Y'all been finding my page, stalking my life, harassing me? Ugh. Ugh. I guess, child. I guess y'all love me. I guess. I guess I feel a little loved or whatever. <laughs> so, I got a surprise for y'all, bitch. <sighs> it's a stripper vlog! Stay the paper, baby. Then stay out the way. Stay the paper. Stay out the way. Stay the paper, baby. Then stay out the way. Stay the paper, baby. Then stay out the way. I stay the paper. Stay out the way. Okay, so we have so much that we have to get caught up on and caught up with. But I don't want this to be like a super, super long vlog, being that all the things that I need to get done. And I want to include it in the vlog. So, right now, I'm about to head to the gym. That's why I'm, I look like a little bum right now. But, you know, you don't got to be sexy to go to the gym, you know. <laughs> so, I got my hair braided and I got like a cap. Like, not even cap, you know, them silk, whatever, and you tie it in the back. So, my hair is braided. I plan on putting on a wig. And... All right, so we're going to have, this is going to be like a day in the life style stripper vlog. I don't know. I'm just testing the waters. I'm trying to get this content up. Um, So I'm going to go to the gym. And then after the gym, you know, wash up, freshen up. I'm going to do my hair. And we're going to get ready for tonight. And I'm going to fill y'all in on this tea. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the gym, ladies. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Big Birkin bag, hold five, six figures. Stripes on my ass, so he call it pussy tigger. Fucking on a scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Same group of bitches, ain't no ass to the picture. Drop a couple of rights, watch his ass get thicker. Drinking on licking, I'm looking at your nigga. If it's money right, you can eat it like a sticker. I ain't got time for these fake ass hoes. Talking all loud in them fake ass clothes. Fake ass shoes, miss that fake ass. Alright, so I'm done with the gym. And is it wrong that I kind of want an iced coffee? No, I don't think so. I think an iced coffee ain't gonna be too bad. So I was like, all right, we're at a red light. I'm a chit chat. I'm heading to Starbucks. Y'all know. What's crazy is I never used to rock with Starbucks like that. I've always been like a Dunkin' Donuts girl. I fucked around and got these uh, like Starbucks gift card for my birthday, like forty dollars in Starbucks, yo. I was at Starbucks like every day and trying different things on a menu. Now I'm hooked and like Dunkin' Donuts, what was I doing? Like, ew. So, alright. I'm assuming that by the time y'all see this video, y'all will have already had the video right before this one. And in that video right before this one, you know that I stated like I haven't really been dancing because, um, I gain weight. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this little dog. <laughs> look at the doggy. It's a doggy. Okay, so if you watched my vlog right before this one, you know that I stated like I haven't been dancing because I gained weight. And I just didn't feel like that girl. Like, I'm always going to be that girl. But... When you start dancing in the club and you really experience the club, like have a real full strip club experience, you know, like there's sexy and then there's strip club sexy. And those are two completely different types of sexy. And strip club sexy, in my opinion, is close to perfection. Like you want to get as close to perfection of your own body as you can. Because every girl's idea of perfection is different. Like some bitches may be to have a big ass booty, big ass titties, or you know, everybody different. Everybody motherfucking different. But for your own body, it's being as close to perfection as you can. So I haven't been dancing. And um, if you follow my entertainer page... 
I created like a separate Instagram. It's almost like my spam page for my exotic personality, my entertainer page. Because when you're in the strip club, you take on being a fantasy. You are a fantasy. You have to become this fantasy. And I just didn't want to continue like just promoting, promoting, promoting from my main page. So I made a separate page for pretty. Which is my dancer name, Pretty. So, Pretty has her own page. And she's a lot more risque and free-spirited and just an all-around hot girl. So, boom. I have a separate page where I promote my OnlyFans a lot from that account. And so, I've been doing my OnlyFans on the side. And I've been making some pretty good money. Not posting nudity. Not posting, like, what they call it? Masturbation and stuff like that. But I am, like, twerking, you know, jiggling the little cheeks around. Like, stuff that I would do in a strip club. Like, I feel like if I would do it in a strip club or a photo shoot, I could do it here. Um, to make a long story short, a customer has been buying up a lot of my content and spending a lot of money, a lot of money on my content. And so, I kind of sort of put him on, like, uh, the elite list because it's like oh he spent a lot of money and then he ended up writing me and saying i would love to spend way more on you in the club than here and he mentioned my old club he was like it's crazy how they shut down and he mentioned my old club and he was like where do you work now so i was like oh shit this person is down here like in my area and knows that i was working at this other club so I'm over here like, <sighs> because I'm not doing no meetups with no niggas off the OnlyFans. Like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a stranger. But he was just like, okay, what clubs you be at now so I can come tip you? So, he been had mentioned that. And I was just being around the bush and not really giving him, like, you know, a clear definition. A, yeah, like, I wasn't giving him a clear answer. So, he recently wrote me and was like, I'm back in town. I would love to see you. What club are you going to be at this week? And I was like, you know, I am about to go out of town. And I do need some extra money. Some extra spending money. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my little boots on. My little lemon pepper steppers. And we're going to get this booty moving. And we're going to see what's tea. So that is how a real girl is back in the club. Which I did say like, okay, I wanted to be back in the club by March. But I'm also not exactly to my body goals. But it's like, do you want to be waiting forever, bitch? I don't know. So I'm going to see how tonight goes. And see if I'll be dancing like the rest of the week. Hold on, y'all. I'm close to the, the window of Stobook. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I thought I'd get my little iced coffee, and I got a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, y'all. <sighs> yeah. So, I thought, I, you know, boom, I get home and freshen up. I'm going to start my wig, like, just as far as, like, getting it straight. I think I want it bone straight. And then, I don't think I'm going to have time for the nail shop. I'm gonna put some motherfucking glue on nails on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're gonna make this work. Okay, so right now, nothing is going according to plan. Nothing at all. Nothing is going according to plan. I can't find my little glue on nails. I didn't even paint my toes white. Well, I didn't paint my toes any goddamn thing. Luckily, I got cute feet. I'm trying to be like, damn, do I got clear polish? It's running late. Well, it's not necessarily late, but the time me and him agreed on, I'm supposed to already be at the club. So, I'm just like, I didn't even have a chance to go to the motherfucking the store, like the little dance store to see if I could get a new dance outfit. So, nothing is going according to plan. 
but we're not gonna stress it because it's like did you come to see me or did you come to see my nails or did you come to see this ass that's what it's given did you come to see me like what what's you know, what's tea so i'm trying not to frantic because i'm trying to pull myself together right now i need to lotion up my wig was wavy so i tried to straighten it that's what spent, took me a lot of time like trying to straighten uh, my wig or whatever so it's like you know it's gonna do it's gonna do it don't look bad it don't look bad uh but right here i need to go maybe i can do that at the club oh my gosh i gotta go get my tip out money see i'm over here playing this is the update i need to hurry up i need to hurry up quick look though you know hi my name is pretty yeah like that you know what i'm saying so, these niggas gonna have to deal with this okay should I look good? And it's a Tuesday night, so it's not like a super swole type of night, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to just jump head first back into a super swole ass crowd. No. No, ma'am. So, let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. I'm wasting time. Okay, so currently, I don't know how dark this footage is going to be, but I am heading to the bank real quick to go get my tip out, and then I'm going to the club. He wrote me and was like, I'm here, and I'm like, um... 10 minutes away okay you know the good old i'm only 10 minutes away but i feel like it's better to have a customer kind of waiting on you rather than you waiting on the customer i mean you don't want to keep the nigga waiting forever but i just feel like at least you know he in motherfucking position you know what i'm saying at least you know the bag is already there and my customers be loyal to me so they don't be playing them uh that bullshit when bitches be trying to walk up and talk to them my customers be like i'm good but let's see though, because this is my first time meeting him. So let's see. At least I feel a little better, like, like I already know I got money there. I don't know, I have such this anxious feeling, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need like a drink or something. I don't know. It's funny, I got, the, I know the fan, the AC gonna be blowing loud in this shit. I have to have the AC on high because I feel like, damn, I'm nervous. Like, bitch, I'm sweating, like, under my arms. <laughs> Look, TMI, TMI. I don't know why I'm so motherfucking like anxious. Like I'm anxious as fuck right now. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I was good on my own. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the love for a favor. I'm so afraid of love. Shit, what the fuck you complaining for? Feeling jaded up. Used to trip off that shit. I was.
Like he went crazy but i made decent money for what it was i don't know i gotta count it up and then the birthday girls had through good money um did i tell you see anybody and then I, people tip me during my stage set so i don't know what's gonna be my take home we finna see but i think i ma i made pretty good money i don't know though i really don't know so we gonna have to see Almost close to two. Hold on now. I just knew that light was gonna be bright as fuck. It is actually two in. And um I back on. <laughs> Am I gonna do a money count now? I should, right? I mean yeah. <laughs> Talk about being tired. Do I look oily? A little bit. Not too bad. I ain't do too bad. So, we finna go ahead and do a money count. Tonight was pretty good. I'm gonna try to do it all tonight. Or at least straighten my bills. How about this? I'll straighten my bills. And then, oh, it's a good shower. I don't know. I might not count tonight. I might count tomorrow morning. I be tired when I come home. I don't know how the girls do it. The girls be coming home counting. <laughs> I'm not one of them girls. <laughs> I'm in the shower. Take this makeup off. And I be ready to go to sleep. And then tonight, why I play, y'all? I had like, I want to believe I had five drinks. If I'm counting accurately. Four. But I feel like it was five. Secretly, I feel like I had five drinks. So, like... I'm ready to lay down. I'm done. I'm through. I'm staying, like... I'm here with y'all right now. But I'm not here with y'all. Like, I'm through. I'm not drunk. Nah, no, I ain't drunk. But, I'm through. I'm ready to lay down. That's it. That's that's it for the night for me. Yeah, y'all. I'm finna shower. I'm gonna take this makeup off. Hopefully that pesky green dot. Do I see it? Y'all, it be a green dot in my footage because I had messed up my lens. And it's like, damn, I need to buy a new lens. So if y'all see that green dot, y'all, I'm sorry. Sorry, but um, I'm gonna take this makeup off and take a shower. Yeah, I ain't counting. I thought I was gonna count, but that ain't happening. That's not happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this makeup off, and then I'm gonna count. And I shall see y'all tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Let me 
stop the recording. Okay. Last night at that club, y'all, was so <laughs> dry. Like, I had a good night. But I only had a good night because I had a customer that I had already called out. Purr. Okay, purr. I had a customer that I had called out. And then, um, I met some birthday girls. They were pretty litty. They were litty, litty, litty. I was like, okay. And they were from Philly. So I'm like, what about y'all down here? To this, like, this hood club. What, how y'all found out about this club? So I don't know. They was just experimenting. And, oh, yeah. Not my camera finna die. Oh, bitch, this is a setup. This is a setup. Set up. Hold on. Let me charge my camera for a little bit. I guess I'm not going to straighten the money. Because I want to straighten the money and talk. So, I guess we have to come back. Okay. Guess who's back in the building? Mine's on the millions. What's on? Friends of Kata. Period. Alright, y'all. So, we back. I had to charge my camera. Now, let's get back to business. I'm ready for my close-up, doctor. Now, let's get back to business. Okay, so I don't know where in the story did I leave off at. I remember I was talking about the girls that came from Philly. And I was like, okay, y'all came all the way to this hood club. This little old hood club. So, like, what? how did y'all find out? So, the birthday girls... They spent some money. They were spending some money. They were lit. They were a vibe. They were everything it should be for your birthday. They did end up leaving, like, not too long after I danced them. But I feel like they chilled for at least 30 minutes or so after. Like, 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes after. And I was surprised no other girls that was working didn't go up to them. Because, like, you know... After a dance to leave, you know, you, you give it like five minutes or so, let the air clear, let the smoke clear, and then you go check on that person and see if they want more dances, because, you know, especially if it's like a birthday, you probably want to see more than one booty, or you, you probably want more than one dancer on you, you know? So, the birthday girls did spend a good amount of money, they came to throw some money, they were vibes, um, and then what else happened? I had my customer. So how my night started was I got to the club a little after 8. Because my customer wanted to link up at 7. But he wasn't on time neither, period. You know how sometimes you got to tell people a certain time, but you really plan to get there maybe an hour after. You know, it's the club, like, you know. So I got there, then I had to get dressed and get ready. This was the club that I had first started working at, like, ever. So, when you're watching my 9 to 5, uh, when you're watching my 9 to Thriving series, my first club ever, this was this club. So, um, <clears throat> I went back to that club. And it's like, I didn't want to go back to this club because I know how slow it can be. And, like I said, like, after I had started working there, I realized, like, they favor smaller bodies at this club. So, outside of my customer, I was like, okay, how much is he finna spend? Because I don't even much, you know? And then it was like, it's a Tuesday, so then, like, is it even finna be, like, people in there like that? And, y'all, it wasn't. Like, it really wasn't. The club was really dead till... Like, I called it. It's crazy how, even though I haven't danced at this club in so fucking long, I know, like, the flow is still the same. Like, the flow is still the same. Like, when I got there at 8, it was really nobody there. Like, nobody there. So, um, I was like, okay, this club tends to have, like, a really big gap between their day shift and night shift. So, let's say day shift customers start leaving, like, six or seven there will be like no little to no customers in there to like 10 
They're not really coming out to midnight, but you're going to get like a couple little sprinkles of people like at 10 p.m. And based on how the vibe is at 10 p.m., that's going to determine whether those customers, those little sprinkle of customers that come in, that's going to determine whether they stay or not. So it's like if it's dead as fuck, what's going to really make a customer want to stay? And the way this club, they tip outs can be, I just feel like sometimes they tip outs don't match their clientele or the club, in my opinion. This is my opinion. So, like, like back at my, my home club before it got closed, all through, the, like, the week, it will be so cheap to work. Like, I can't remember. Was it, like, $40? Like, it will be, like, a base. Like, it doesn't alter. Like, even on slow nights, you can come to work and it's probably, like, 40 I want to say it's, like, $40 to work. And then the weekend, it would go up to 60 Come on, sixty dollars to work, and you can leave out with a thousand, like five hundred or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whereas this club here, the one I was at last night, it's really like a small club, a really small hole in the wall club, and they tip out go up every hour, and then it's like your tip out don't match the kind of money these girls can even come out with. Like why I'm coming a look like it's seventy dollars before eight and then it's like it goes up i believe it's 80 and it just keeps going up to damn near 100 for what on a tuesday night and y'all know y'all shit is a ghost town why why like it just doesn't match like it should be like one set like clubs that know okay these nights is slow here you know tip out only gonna be this for the whole night like a standard base whatever and then they done started charging the girls to park. Now, right before I left, they didn't park. They didn't charge us to park originally, like, when I started working there. However, the the con of that was we got a small parking lot. So, when I'll be coming to work, you'll be thinking, like, oh, it's going to be so swollen here. The parking lot swole, bitch. It's just <laughs> them all the dancers' cars, okay? The dancers out here. And you come into work and be like, it's like 20 bitches in here and no customers. Dead eyes, like... Why is it like 20, 30 girls in here and it's no customers? So, there's like this lot in the back of the club. But who want to park in this dusty lot? Anywho, that's where they was like, okay, you don't got to pay if you park in this lot. However, you could tell like this lot belongs to another building. And now it looks like they're doing construction on that building. So, there's like a whole lot of like tractors and like equipment like type shit there. How can you even park there? So... When I pulled in, parking was $20. And I was like, wait a minute. Right before I left, y'all didn't charge us to park. And then right when y'all started to charge us to park, it was only $10. Now it's $20. Like, it just gives, like, y'all getting over it. Like, y'all getting over it. And then tip out. I paid $70 tip out. And then $20 to um, park. To make a long story short, I just feel like last night was a night you probably, like, Bitches probably ain't make they, even they tip outs back. Like, let's say you came after me. Let's say you came to work after me and you done pay $80, $90 to work. It wasn't even $80 worth the cost. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. Like, you would probably be done just made that. Like, it was just a very dry ghost town type of night. Very ghost town. One girl said she had been there since 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I said, oh, no. Oh, no. Not at 1 o'clock. No. Don't you hate that? Like, when you gotta work a day shift into the night because just, like, it's not hitting on nothing. Like, it's not hitting on nothing. I'm still straightening so far. It's all my hair. I don't know if this shit, my hair or somebody else's hair. Let me just put it back in the bag. Bitch. So, still straightening up the money, y'all. So, like, you know, so y'all know that's what I'm the money's still being, stra being straightened. So, um, I just feel like last night was one of those nights, like, damn. So, by the time I got out on the floor, right, because I was like, damn, I'm writing my customer. Mind you, I don't got the customer number. We still writing off of OnlyFans. So, I'm like, I'm here because he had got there before me. And I was like, um, you know, let me know where you sitting at, da, 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 da. 
So he still hadn't wrote me back. So I didn't even know where he was um sitting at. I didn't even know where he was sitting at. But it was only one customer. Like all the girls was like, it's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. Nobody out there. And then it's like, it's but, but this one guy. And he probably waiting on somebody. So in my mind, I was like, oh. Ew, that's my little pool. My little, you know, my little, my little wooty woo. You know what I'm saying? So boom. We by the bar. You know, we talking. Well, mind you, I assumed it was him because you the only nigga in here. So, it gots to be you. <laughs> so, I go to the bar and I meet him by the bar. Y'all, tell me why. I used to go to school with this, this guy. I used to go to school with him, y'all. Dun, dun, dun. Not I used to go to school with him, y'all. I was like, oh my god. Now that you subscribe to my only fan. Oh no. Like, that's what I'm saying. With only fans, that's why you also gotta be careful the shit you sending or that you posting. Cause you just don't know who's following you on there. You don't know like these people, because these people got random usernames and stuff. So when I seen him, but he looks so different. So I was like, oh my god, now that I used to go to school with you. <laughs> that little cringe, that little, ooh, now that I used to go to school with you. And we was catching up. So I would say we literally vibed for like a good hour, maybe two. Because like, we was catching up, talking about all the shit from high school to college. We didn't go to the same college, we went to the same high school. He was like, you so different. That's just what he kept saying. You so different from high school. He was like, if people met you back when you was in high school, they it'd be like, you a completely different girl. And I was like, I know. And I was like, exactly. Exactly. And mind you, I always feel like I was a chubby girl. Like, that's always been me. I've never been a skinny girl. I've had moments where I've gotten slim thick, but I've never been a skinny girl. So, I was just seeing, like, how, like, back then, like, I, I didn't look at myself as somebody that was sexy or fine. Like, I didn't really turn up till I went to college, for real. Like, and he was just also, no, you always is cute. You always is fine. I'm like, really? Like, I didn't know. Like, high school me just was not me now. High school me is just not me now. Like, at all. Such a quiet person. Such a reserved person and i'm still very reserved but i just was such a quiet little shy person so he was just like oh my gosh like you don't change so much you don't glue up but you don't change like so much and i'm like thank you that's a compliment and I'm, you know i guess that's a compliment or whatever still straightening up yeah yeah See, it's been a long time, but baby, I'm blessed. I ain't even gonna complain about straightening the money. But straightening money be taking so long. Oh my god. Straightening money, that's how you be needing a couple people to do it. And that's another reason why I never have the energy. Like when I come home from work, I never have the energy to straighten up the money for real. Like I be like, I'm gonna do this in the morning or the next day, cause this too much. I went on stage. My customer, he ended up throwing a lot of money, or yeah, he threw a lot of money on stage, and then that's when I, the birthday girls went to tip of my stage set. So I was like, "Oh shit, I'm making some money tonight, bitch!" Like, oh my god, like you know what I'm saying? Cause in my mind, you know, I kept seeing like I'm anxious, I'm nervous to work. Like, what if I don't really make money like that tonight? Even though that's not the mindset you're supposed to have. Cause when I right before, I always pray and I try to manifest right before I go into work. And I always try to manifest a thousand dollars whenever I work. And you'll be surprised. It really helps. So I was like, Lord, let me come out of here tonight with a thousand dollars. And even if you don't hit the thousand dollars, you land pretty close. Or you land higher than if you be like, I'm finna go to work and I only wanna make three hundred dollars. Like, no. You gotta aim high. So wherever you do land, you gonna have that bag. Alright. Y'all, let me try to pick it up. Here go all the ones. I pray they don't fall. Okay, so. Here go all the ones. And then I got big bills. Why 
looks so, I don't know. It looks so weird. It's too bright. So, I am about to straighten the money. So far, I got one down. Boop. And then I'm going to get y'all with the money count on how much I made on a Tuesday night. A dry Tuesday night. But I had a lot of fun. I can't say the same about everybody else. And I was just thinking to myself as I was straight um, counting the money. I was like, it's crazy how you can all be in the same like place, like the same building. But everybody's having a different experience. I had a good time last night. I had a blast. But I know other dancers probably was like, fuck no, bitch. This shit was dead as fuck. Which it was, but I had a blast. Bitch, you would look on my story, my Insta story, and was like, oh, this girl lit. It's turning now. Bitch, it was not lit. It was not turned. But well, I had a good time, if that makes sense. <laughs> if that makes sense. So, yeah, let me go ahead. Let me count this up. Because I need to hurry up. I want to go to the bank and drop this off before the bank closed. So, okay, so I have the money straightened. Now it's like, damn, I gotta count all this stuff. Oh. I know somebody watching this, they're gonna be like, why are you wearing gloves? Y'all see that black? Like, it's on every finger, like... I hate that for me. Like, I hate that being on my hands. Like, the glove is black, y'all. Like, nasty. Nasty. So, shall we begin? How much y'all think I made? Hmm. How much do y'all think? How much y'all think I made? A real girl actually made some coin last night. Like, I ain't even finna hold y'all. I was surprised my damn self after I counted all this. I said, let me find out. I made $1,000. Really like 1100 and something. On a Tuesday. Let me find out I made a band on a Tuesday. So, let's, you know, the haters. Because on TikTok, I got a TikTok Motherfuckers be like, but they're just ones. Like, you know, it's like little boys. Them the only people that troll. Bitch, them ones gonna add up every time. Do you hear me? So, let's see how we gonna do this. Hopefully, it don't fall. One, two, three. <laughs> Four. Oh, now it's messed up right now. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. That's a thousand dollars in ones. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. And then I got a fifty dollar bill. And I got four twenties. So that's eighty dollars. Yeah, I was eighty plus fifty. <laughs> oh my gosh, the math. Oh my god. Um. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 130. I made $1,130. Y'all see how I did that? I got to say it more confidently. I made $1,130 last night. Well, took home. Because, baby, that money sweeper boy, I was giving him all my money. And, like, my client... He was like, I tipped him for the night. But I wasn't really getting that. He was like, I made sure that he gonna keep coming back and uh, picking up your money. And I was like, every time he came by, I'm like, he'll go three dollars, he'll go five, he'll go another five, he'll go six. That boy kept coming over like it was crazy. So, my take home. And then I took the DJ good and I took the house mom, even though I didn't use none of her products. And she got there really late. So... My take home was eleven hundred and thirty dollars. Y'all see what the manifestation did? Um, hold up, cause y'all know I've been like, I'm not gonna dance. I don't feel sexy. I don't feel like I'm her. Like I don't feel like I'm that girl. Okay, all right, girl. So, that really concludes this video. This concludes... Let me take these dirty ass clothes off. But this concludes this stripper vlog. I look forward to seeing you guys in other vlogs with me. 
Um, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, leave comments, interact with me on my community tab because I want to build up that tab too on my YouTube channel. Um, you know, give me some ideas. What do y'all want to see in future vlogs? What do y'all want me to talk about? Because y'all be liking my chit chat videos because, like, you know, it's one of the girls. We're all, you know, one of the girls. So, you know, thanks guys for watching and see y'all next time. Stay the paper, baby, then stay out the way. Stay the paper. Okay, and one last thing. Y'all remember when I was saying I have been so obsessed with Starbucks and, like, y'all, look what one mama got me. <laughs> Why was I actually excited about this cup, y'all? Like, I don't know. Starbucks has won me over. Like, I just don't. I don't get it. I don't know. But Starbucks, I am such a Starbucks girl. This cup had me so happy, y'all. It's just the cup. But I was happy about this damn cup. So, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all that. <laughs>